I've been meaning to make a tutorial on, a full tutorial on how to do a business EDDM. That's the kind with the permit where you can get the postage down to 16.8 cents. My name is Jake and this is my wife Sarah. I'm going to show you how to do a business EDDM mailing. If you're doing mailings more than 5,000 pieces, you're going to want to do a business EDDM mailing. It's gonna save you over three cents per piece in postage. If you're doing over 10,000 pieces a year, you're gonna save hundreds, even thousands of dollars in postage by doing this. The first thing that you'll need to do is check to see which post office near you will allow permits. Go on to find USPS locations and you type in your zip code or your address or whatever and it'll pull up any post offices near you. And what you wanna do is see, like this is my local office, you wanna see if it has bulk mail acceptance. If you're in in like a, a really dense city, you'll have to go to like one central bulk mail plant. You'll have to figure out which one it is. It'll show you. But if you're in like a suburbs or in the country, chances are your local post office will accept bulk mail, which is great. You can either go to that office and request the, to get a permit form or you can just print it out. You, it's, it's post office uh, form 3615. You can go online and print this. It's very simple. You're only filling up the, pretty much this top little section. Number 10 here, it says, will present plant verified drop shipments. You wanna make sure that that's checked yes. Then you have in section B, just this left hand side that you'll fill out and you'll, you just need number one, a permit imprint authorization. All you're doing is getting permission to put a little permit that looks like this on your postcards so that it shows that the postage is paid. That's all it does. You'll fill this out, you'll bring it to your local post office, and you'll pay a one-time setup fee. Uh, currently in 2021, it's $265, and then it's $265 every year. And then you call the USPS business hotline. You call this number here, 877-672-0007 and they'll connect your account so that you can process the postage in line. I mean, you could technically do all this in, in one day. You could go get your permit, fill it out, have them process it, get on the phone, and now your permit is good to go. Once you have the permit, you are ready to, do, to get the cheaper postage. Today, we have a, well, it's just a one route, right? It's a one route mailing. It's a client that we gotta get out really fast because it's for Halloween and Halloween's in just a few days. So we have to get this. And it's in this little, this little crappy little town, Sylvan Beach. And hopefully you got your cards printed through us, printingforsupercheap.com. The best place to get EDDM postcards or business cards or whatever. Best quality, cheapest price, fast turnaround. We can even prepare these for you. So you are in good hands. So you'll have them. This is a small mailing, which is, makes it perfect for this video. So you're gonna log in, eddm.usps.com. 13157 is our zip. We're gonna go to table so we can see them all. And you could sort these if there were multiple carrier routes like most places are. You'll see you'll be able to sort them by age and by income. Here's just PO boxes, a bunch of beach houses. Now look, the non-discounted rate is $121.26. But because I have my permit connected, I can, I can push this down, I can see all these other rates. Look at this. Here it starts dropping down, dropping down, dropping down. Now the non-discounted rate means that if you didn't wanna take it to the destination place, like this is like 30 miles away. So I could technically just leave it at my local post office and I would pay 23 and a half cents and they'll deliver. Or I could bring it to some bigger plants nearby and it'd be a little cheaper and they'll deliver it out. But in this case, we're gonna shoot over there so I can show you how to actually do it yourself and get the really super cheap postage. So I'm gonna pick local post office, DDU, which is destination delivery unit. And I get that 16.8 cent difference and now it's only $86. If you've got say a 10,000 piece mailing, you're gonna be saving $300 in postage right off the bat. And you won't have to spread it out over days. You can do a 10,000 piece mailing in one day. You can't do that with regular EDDM. I'm gonna to go to next step and it's gonna give me two options. Do I wanna use a B business mail entry unit entry or do I wanna do retail entry? With retail, you're paying that full price. So I'm gonna stick with BMEU. That means I'm using my permit. Uh, I've got my route selected here and it's gonna tell me where it is. So it's gonna give me an address of this place where the post office is that services that and click continue. Now it goes to the date that you wanna drop it off because you can prepare these far in advance. So I'm gonna to pick today, which is the 29th. I'm gonna pick my permit. I've got a couple different permits. I'm gonna use this one. 
and you'll finalize this order. You could save it so that you have it in there and ready to do uh, l later, but I'm doing it right now. So we're gonna finalize this order and it's gonna ask you what kind of containers are you gonna put them in. I don't have any postal tubs on me right now because we've been doing so many mailings, I'm totally out. So we're gonna use one of these boxes, which are gonna be the same boxes that will send the postcards to you. So you're gonna get them in these boxes and you can use them. Or you could go to your post office and ask for postal tubs and they'll give you those, but it's gonna be really convenient. You can put them right back in the boxes that they came. It's really easy and you just wanna put one route per box. So Sarah's gonna put, if you wanna band those up, she's gonna put these into bundles of 100 each. The post office wants them in, in bands of 100. I can even send them to you with bands on them. Let me see if I have one. This is an example of the, where they come banded. So I can band, pre-band these into 100s for you as well so you don't have to go through this process. Being that it's one route per box, you're just gonna use however many mailing routes you have. On the site it'll tell you, okay, you have eight mailing routes. It would be eight boxes or eight tubs, whatever you're using. In this case, it's just one. So I'm gonna put one. Then it asks you a weight. I understand you're not gonna have a scale that reads ounces, but I do. So all you gotta do is hit me up and say, hey, how much is one, those, one of these weigh? I'm gonna take one of these cards, I bent it in half so it fits on the scale easier, and it's 0.4 ounces. So you would put 0.4 ounces and complete the order. It's just gonna give you a confirmation, it's gonna be thank you for your order, and it'll say what to do next. You can print all, for what I like to do is print all forms, and it gives you this very simple to fill out thing. You can always pull this up too. If you lose it, it'll always be in your order history on the, on the EDM site. And you only fill out the white part. The, all the stuff that's shaded in gray, the post office will figure out. Besides printing all forms, you'll also need to launch the postal wizard. That's how you actually finalize everything and submit it to the post office. So you'll click launch postal wizard. It's gonna take you to this page with just a lot of numbers and stuff. The only thing you really have to check that you'll need is this, which is the weight of a single piece and the total weight. You're gonna need those to write on the form that it printed, printed out for the drop shipment. So then you'll click submit down here at the bottom right, and that will send it off to the post office. It is a good, good idea to print you a print friendly version of this. Don't worry if your handwriting is bad or whatever, mine is terrible too. So you're gonna write immediately on the requested home, home delivery date, unless you want it at a certain time. You're gonna put where you're, uh, where you're mailing it from, what the weight is, and then the total 19.35 pounds. Again, it will show you what the pounds are, how many boxes, what it is, and where it's going. Sell them each post office. Once you have this filled out, it takes a second. Very little things, you scratch. Oh, and you gotta write flats. These are called flats. Now once these are banded together, you're gonna to put these facing slips. So if this says 516 uh, addresses, you're gonna make five bundles of 100 and then one of 16, and you're just gonna fill these out and put them on here. One of six, two of six, three of six, four, six, five of six, and you're just gonna put them on your, on your bundles. See how easy this is? Once these are banded, She's gonna put them in a box or your postal tub or wherever you're putting them. And then you stuff them in your car. So we're gonna take this to our permit office with this paperwork and they're gonna put a postmark stamp on it. That's really what this form is. It's a plant verified drop shipment. It means that your postage is paid, your mailing is paid, you're drop shipping it to wherever you gotta go. So we're gonna be going to our permit office, get it stamped quick. Then we're gonna drive out to Sylvan Beach and drop off our mailer. If you've got a ton of pieces, you don't wanna have to bring this to your permit office, you can actually request for them to come to your place of business or your garage or whatever, and they will verify it there. That's a service that the post office offers. I'm gonna show them my paperwork and I'm gonna put the postage onto my permit. So just say I wanna load $300 or $3,000 or however much it is onto your permit and they'll stamp it and give you the paperwork that's good to go. I in and out, went in there, gave the paperwork, and she stamped it. You can see there is where the part that they'll fill out. The gray part is what you what they fill out. The white part is what you fill out. She postmarks it, gives you a copy. 
So you'll have two, so one for your records and one to give the post office you're going to. You've got a ton of them and you've got more than your car can handle. You can just rent a U-Haul. You can rent like the, they have cargo vans for like $20. If you've got say 30,000 pieces or something, or say you're a marketer and you're doing a bunch of campaigns for different clients, just rent a U-Haul for the day. Some post offices don't really know what they're doing. They've never experienced this before. Sarah will show you, I circle, this is the paperwork that prints out. This is one of these forms, it's got a lot of fine print and she's gonna circle this section that says instructions for destination entry unit. Sometimes you have to actually help them. So if you circle that part, that's a pretty helpful tip and use the word drop shipment. Don't say I'm here for an EDDM because what they'll do is they'll confuse it for a retail EDDM, like the normal one, and they'll want you to pay the postage when your postage has already been paid. So it depends on what kind of Nazi you have behind the post office. I normally wouldn't drive, I don't know, this is like 25 miles or something. If you want to do a mailing and it's kind of a ways out and it's going to cost you more money and time just to go out there, you can pay someone to, to do it and free up your time or you can also just load these into priority mailboxes and if it's, if it's fairly close, you can do a regional rate priority box and spend maybe, like this mailing will cost maybe like $15 or so to ship. And you could just ship it. Like many mailings, they're right down to the wire and they gotta get out. They gotta be in the thing today. So I just, I'm just driving out. So I'm gonna go bring it into the post office, give her the paperwork. I'm gonna say I've got a drop shipment and it's gonna be over and done with. And I'm back. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know if that was one minute. I think it was a roughly one minute. I went in, she was right at the desk, told her it's a drop shipment. She just checked the paperwork made sure it was stamped. Like I never, I just say here it is, it's paid. It's, don't fret over these things. As long as they take it, you're totally fine. And that's it, it's a, it's a very simple process. Get your permit and then just do your, your mailing as usual online. You print the paperwork, you have your permit office stamp it and then you take it out to wherever it's gotta go. If you have questions, I am the person to go to. Shoot me an email. My email is contact at printingforsupercheap.com. My printing company is printingforsupercheap.com. I'm more than happy to work out discounted pricing with you, help get your EDDM campaign going, make it as smooth as can be. It's a great way to get customers. And also if you're a marketer, it's a great way to help other businesses get more customers because it's hard for them to navigate that. So if you do it for them, you can just follow this tutorial so they don't have to deal with any of the headaches of sending these mailings out, add your fees on top of it, and everyone's happy.